Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do the digital marketing terms for IBPS SO marketing 2023-2024 exam. बहुत ही एक important topic है. Uh, every year there are like three four questions asked from digital marketing only. Out of sixty three four sometimes five. बड़ा uh, ही trending topic है. A lot of questions are there. सो जनरली क्वेश्चन आर आज फ्रॉम टर्म्स मार्केटिंग टर्म्स डिजिटल मार्केटिंग टर्म्स में से काफ़ी क्वेश्चन जो हैं पूछे जाते हैं यू शुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू आंसर द एम सी क्यूज बेस्ड ऑन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी डन अ इन डेप्थ सेशन ऑन माई कॉर्स माई नीम इज रमनदीप सिंह एंड आई बिन टीचिंग ऑन बैंक एग्जाम टुडे फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर्स एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर कॉर्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम टुडे डॉट कॉम एंड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेज नोट्स क्विजेज टेस्ट सीरीज Uh, weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance so everything is available in the course link is available in the description and today we are going to do 25 digital marketing terms very important terms i try to make everything easy for you i try to write everything in very easy language so if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts in the super ch- in the in the comment section or you can whatsapp me as well so here is my whatsapp number let me just hide myself so that you can concentrate on the content okay so let's start with the ab testing what is ab testing so ab testing is a research method so uh, let me give you an example on a website uh, on a website on let's say on bankexamstudy.com right on uh, we have an option to choose the fonts right so on uh, first a uh, version i used roboto and on another one i used open sans and what i'm trying to do i'm trying to find out the effect of change in fonts on average session duration average duration agar main font change karta hu to jo duration hai kitna time log website pe on an average rehte hain us pe kya effect hai so uh, i used two variations of the website राइट आधे लोगों को रोबोटो वाला साइट आधे लोगों को ओपन सांस वाला साइट सो दैट्स हाउ वी डू ए बी टेस्टिंग समटाइम्स वी चेंज द कलर ऑफ द यू एक्स समटाइम्स वी यूज यू नो वी आर डूइंग टू वर्जन्स टू यू नो टू वर्जन्स ऑफ द वेबसाइट वन इज ग्रीन एंड इन द सेकेंड वन इज रेड और वन इज ब्लू सेकेंड वन इज ग्रीन ओके एंड देन वी फाइंड आउट विच वन परफॉर्म्स बेटर विच वन हैज a better user experience so what is ab testing it's a method used in marketing also in web development and user experience it compares two versions of an element that's all it compares two versions of an element which one performs better would be used at the end of the day theek hai that is ab testing uh, let's move forward affiliate marketing what is affiliate marketing see students on uh, websites uh, the companies what they offer for example amazon what they do is they hire affiliates on their website you can uh, join their affiliate program this is an affiliate program customer clicks your link and makes a purchase okay so what affiliate marketing is on amazon you can make your affiliate account and the amazon is going to give you a unique link for every product a unique link to every product then when the customer click that link and make the purchase that purchase is tracked and you receive the commission okay so you got a link you got a unique link your affiliate link and whenever somebody purchase a purchase using your uh, unique link you'll get a commission that is affiliate marketing brand positioning so brand so look at this look at the cans of pepsi and coca cola what if there is no logo on that what if it is just blue and uh, a red uh, can of sodas can of cold drinks you'll get to know that this is pepsi the blue is pepsi the red is coca cola red is coke that's in your mind so a blue cold drink is pepsi a red cold drink is coca cola that's in your mind it has a place in your mind what about the color green think about it mountain dew or sprite okay so it's in your mind brand positioning is a process of establishing brand's identity and value proposition in the mind of customer so it's in your mind that a blue colored bottle of a cold drink is pepsi 
or a red colored can of a cold drink is a coca cola so it's in your mind it's more than a tagline it's more than a logo it's a strategy of a business that sets it apart from the customers so it's a combination of logo brand color okay or proposition so it's in your mind that is brand positioning what is content strategy so content strategy is uh, planning and implement what is uh, content marketing first of all you need to understand so there are various ways by which the uh, content products can be promoted for example with the help of youtube videos blog post or emails okay companies can promote their products so that the end users like you are going to buy their products so that is content strategy uh, planning implementation of digital content what is digital content videos blogs or emails to make it work towards uniform and including creating and distribution for digital marketing campaigns such as blog posts articles social media posts videos podcast ebooks guides and webinars making use of digital content such as blog posts emails articles social media posts videos and all uh, ebooks guides webinars uh, white papers to help people get influenced to buy your products is content strategy and what is conversion rate and try to understand the simple formula number of conversions what is a conversion conversion is a desired action that you want your customers to take your visitors to take so a conversion can be a sale a conversion can be uh, you know the 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 customers are actually paying jaise hamari website pe gaye aapne 2000 rupaye pay kar diye you are a convert uh, for example you are filling a form sales ho sakta hai filling a form ho sakta hai whatever the desired action conversion is not uh, only sales but it can be anything any action that you want your customers to take maybe filling a form maybe making a purchase okay a lot other options can be there maybe sharing your post with friends so it can be the thing so conversion rate is total number of conversions divided by total visitors multiplied by 100 so that is conversion rate so total number of visitors means number of people number of uh, real people visiting your website or landing page uh, or your website or landing page or app it's total visitor multiplied by 100 you will get the conversion rate okay cpa or cost per action again focus on the uh, formula cost per acquisition is equal to total marketing cost divided by number of acquisitions uh, acquisition here we are uh, concerned about the acquisition of customers acquiring a new customer so cpa it's a measure uh, metric uh, marketing uh, metric that measures the cost of acquiring a new customer so it is a financial metric that measures the cost of acquiring a new customer so let's say total marketing cost is 10000 rupee by spending 10000 rupee you acquire 10 new customers then your cpa is 10 uh, 1000 rupee okay so 10000 rupee apne kharcha kiya to acquire 10 new customer your cost of acquiring a new customer or cpa cost per acquisition is 1000 rupee so please remember the formula which is actually more important according to me what is cpc on google if you want to place your ads you, you need to pay per click okay you need to pay per click you can decide the rate of the click yourself you can place the bid or you may let the google decide themselves according to their formulas okay so cpc is equal to ad cost divided by number of clicks so let's say you spent 10000 rupee and you got 100 clicks so uh, your cpc is 100 rupees cost per click is for every click you are paying this money ek click ke liye aap 100 rupees pay kar rahe ho 2 rupees bhi karte ho 5 bhi karte ho 10 bhi karte ho 20 50 200 karte hain so that is cpc what is cpm and what is the difference between cpc and cpm cpm is a total amount spent divided by total measured impression now when we pay according to cost per uh, you know 1000 impressions we are not concerned with how many clicks now what is happening you are showing your ads on google or whichever platform you want to show for every 1000 times hazar bar aapki ad show hoti hai to aap uh, cpm ke according pay paise pay kar rahe ho 1 dollar 2 dollar whatever it is 
यू आर नॉट कंसर्न विद क्लिक क्लिक्स का कुछ लेना देना नहीं है यहाँ पे क्लिक्स इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट हेयर वी आर कंसर्न विद द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इंप्रेशन यू मे बी गेटिंग टेन परसेंट इंप्रेशन मे बी ट्वेंटी परसेंट इंप्रेशन मे बी वन परसेंट इंप्रेशन ओके यू आर पेइंग अकॉर्डिंग टू द इंप्रेशन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स योर एडवर्टीजमेंट वॉज शोन सो टोटल अमाउंट स्पेंड टोटल डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल मेजर्ड इंप्रेशन लेट से टोटल अमाउंट स्पेंड इज टेन थाउजेंड रुपी एंड लेट से टोटल इंप्रेशन टेन थाउजेंड so just cut it so that's cpm uh, cost per 1000 is equal to 1 okay uh crm or customer relationship ma management crm stands for customer relationship management first of all you should understand uh, remember the full form it's a software or technology C crm is a software or a technology that helps businesses to manage their relationship with the customers with the potential customers as well the goal of crm is to improve business relationship increase loyalty and drive profit so whenever you fill uh, a form on a website let's say on bank exams today you fill a form so on much bigger organization where they have the teams wahan pe kya hai whenever you fill a form aap database pe aapka number add ho jata hai your name is there okay so whatever your mobile number is there okay whichever course you wanted to uh you took a demo okay it is there when an email is sent on which whichever date and whatever you did on the app uh, all the informations are placed on on one particular location and when you were contacted when a customer support executive contacted you and how you replied what you told him so that you don't have to start uh, again so ek system pe jo bhi aapke sath business ki interaction hui hai kisi bhi tarah ki उसको एक ही जगह पे सारा उसको नोट डाउन कर लिया गया है इफ़ यू टेल देम कि सर मैं परचेज कर चुका हूँ कुछ और का सो so यहाँ पे योर नेम वुड बी कैंसल्ड आउट और दैट विल बी अपडेटेड हेयर सो दैट इज़ व्हाट सीआरएम इज व्हाट इज सीटीए और कॉल टू एक्शन वेन यू गो टू अ वेबसाइट वट इज़ अ सी टी ए ऑन यूट्यूब यूट्यूब की वीडियो पे वट इज़ सी टी ए कॉल टू एक्शन क्या है यूट्यूब पे दैट इज़ अ सब्सक्राइब बटन सब्सक्राइब बटन Uh, or uh, like button bell icon these are uh, cta's call to action that is what the youtuber or the youtube wants you to do take some action what if you go to bankexamstoday.com's page what we are looking for we want you to take a free demo that's that's a cta on bankexamstoday's website so call to action is a is a brief statement that ask readers or consumers to respond with a specific action or to participate in something okay so the action that the uh, that we are looking from you as a publisher we are looking from you ki aap kya action lo youtube ka maine bata diya subscribe kar lijiye like or bell icon on some websites they are looking for your email on some websites they want you to pay for some course so on every website there is some sort of call to action okay what is click through rate click through rate is number of clicks number of people who clicked an ad divided by the total number of impression multiplied by 100 so how many people saw the ad let's say 1000 people saw the ad and only 10 persons clicked it so uh, your ctr is 1% your ctr is 1% so what is ctr it's a number of people who clicked the advertisement on a landing page divided by the number of people who actually saw that ad कितने लोगों ने आपकी ऐड देखी सौ लोगों ने आपकी ऐड देखी उसमें से सिर्फ एक ने क्लिक करी तो आपका एक परसेंट सी है कन्वर्जन रेट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इट्स अ लेंदी टॉपिक बट सी सी आर ओ कन्वर्जन रेट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ विजिटर्स टू अ वेबसाइट हु कम्प्लीट्स अ स्पेसिफिक एक्शन सो वी वी डिस्कस्ड द सॉरी सो वी डिस्कस इट्स गेट बैक वी डिस्कस द सी टी ए राइट कॉल टू एक्शन हर पेज पर पे होता है सो कन्वर्शन रेट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन हाउ वी कैन इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु टेक एन एक्शन ये जो एक्शन है सी टी ए कैसे इसको बढ़ाएं हाउ यूट्यूब डिड दैट तो सब्सक्राइब का बटन जो है उसका साइज बड़ा कर दीजिए राइट और यू चेंज द कलर ऑफ द सब्सक्राइब बटन और मेक इट मोर अग्रेसिव लाइक का बटन बड़ा कर दीजिए या सबसे ऊपर ले आइए ब्रिंग इट टू द टॉप टू द लेफ्ट चेंज द लोकेशन ऑफ द बटन चेंज द साइज ऑफ द बटन ओके ब्रिंग इट गिव इट मोर अटेंशन 
so that's how we can increase the conversion rate so what are the best practices use clear and concise language use exciting words like buy now join us make use of uh, colors fonts and shapes which would attract the uh, visitors add social proofs testimonials use incentives discounts or freebies that rewards your users for taking actions use deadlines countdowns limited availability so a lot of uh, you know ways are there by using these ways you can improve the conversion rate of your website or the landing page engagement rate the simple formula to understand the engagement rate engagement rate is a measure of how much uh, how much of your followers interact with your content on social media platform for example bank exams today ka engagement rate utna acha nahi hai educational channels ka utna acha hota bhi nahi hai comedians ka kafi high hota hai what do you mean by the engagement rate engagement rate is calculated by dividing the total number of interactions divided by total number of followers सो so, आपके फॉलोअर्स टोटल कितने हैं उसमें से कितने लोग आपकी पोस्ट को लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब वगैरह करते हैं दैट्स हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द टोटल इंगेजमेंट रेट ओके द फनल व्हाट इज द फनल सो दैट इज द फनल सो व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इज यू आर ब्रिंगिंग द पीपल यू आर ब्रिंगिंग पीपल टू योर बिजनेस यू आर अट्रैक्टिंग द कस्टमर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल बाय मेकिंग दिस वीडियो आई एम ट्राइंग टू अट्रैक्ट पीपल students who are preparing for ibps so marketing my, my basically that's my goal at the end of the day my goal is to get maximum number of students making uh, as much as money as i can and getting as much as selections you know so that next year i can make more money simple clear goal being honest so uh, i'm making you aware of my product that this is the kind of product and that's the quality of the education that you're going to get you got aware once you got aware maybe you took a free demo okay you took a free demo you got interest okay you took took a free demo then you got into the interest section okay so you got the uh, you got uh, aware about it aapne free ki class dekhi i i keep on sending you emails maybe one day you understood that i need to join a course i need some study material then you will consider me maybe you have कंसिडर्ड सम अदर प्लेटफॉर्म एज वेल दो तीन प्लेटफॉर्म आपके माइंड में है सो यू विल कंसिडर दैम दो तीन ऑल्टरनेटिव आपके माइंड में आ गए आपके माइंड में जो आता है आप वही खरीदते हो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट इज वट मार्केटिंग इज वट इज वट एवर इन योर माइंड इज यू आर गोइंग टू परचेज दैट मे बी देर आर टेन अदर बेटर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल बट वट एवर कम्स टू यूर माइंड फर्स्ट एज पर साइंस यू आर गोइंग टू बाय दैट प्रोडक्ट एंड देन इफ यू मेक द परचेज यू बिकम अ कन्वर्जन यू पे फॉर इट that is what the marketing funnel is so top of the funnel is where awareness is at this is the top of the funnel awareness when you get the awareness uh, regarding a product middle of the funnel when you get interest the middle of the funnel the buyers have identified their problems and need but they continue to research uh, they they want to get the best product they want value for money right at the end at the bottom of the funnel they are ready to buy and then they are looking for some coupons some offers that's the bottom of the funnel that's where the money is that's what the funnel is that's the sales funnel we also call it the funnel or you can also call it the sales funnel it, this is very important and this question was asked in the previous papers i have seen all these question from all these topics in the previous papers ye aate hain previous papers maine bahut sare dekhe hain ye key performance indicators so how would you measure the performance of your business how would you track the performance of your uh, you know landing page kaise kya hai aapka goal whatever your goal is so for example when we track the performance of our courses uh what is the kpi for courses what should be the kpi i think about it it may be the number of people who take took the trial took trial how many people who took trial or how many students who paid for the course that should be the kpi many times it's not the the sales that we made the amount of money that we made but most of the time it's how many students who enrolled for a course that is kpi okay kpi these are key performance indicators are measurable metrics that track the progress towards a specific goal or objective we want to become the the best uh, online 
institute who helps the students preparing for specialist banking exams that's a goal how we can reach there by enrolling the maximum number of students and getting the maximum number of selections that is what the kpi is it can be revenue it can be customer retention rate or the number of enrollments so a lot of kpis can be there keyword stuffing this is an outdated topic in olden days uh, the webmasters they used to stuff a website with keywords wo ek hi keyword ko andar uske thuste rehte the ek page pe so that they can get the you know better ranking and they they also got success in olden times like 20 years back 15 years back now it is not uh, possible that is a kind of black hat seo what is black hat seo black hat seo is illegal seo it is illegal seo or unethical seo google doesn't uh, you know recommend that google penalizes the websites with black hat seo keyword stuffing is a black hat technique uh, aapki background text maan lijiye this is a white and the text is also white so that you know i am misleading the search engine if i am trying to mislead the search engine i am doing black hat seo white hat seo is uh, legal seo i am trying to make my website fast useful reliable informative so that i can get more clicks that is white hat seo what is lead generation lead generation is a process of generating interest in a particular product or service with a goal of turning that interest into a sale so lead lead is is a person or is an entity who's a prospective uh, you know who's a prospective customer he's a prospective customer who may make a purchase of your product and lead generation is a process of you know uh, you know generating the leads okay how you can generate leads with the help of email campaigns content marketing social media uh, advertising your uh, products on google uh, by paying uh, per click so a lot of things are there lead generation again marketing funnel is there you are generating a lot of leads putting them in the marketing funnel and then you are uh, getting the customers so this is a simple process lifetime value this is a really important topic last year uh, three questions were asked from this particular topic i have done an in depth video ye formula bahut important hai numerical aaya tha average revenue per account multiplied by gross margin divided by churn rate okay this is the lifetime value of a customer as a name suggest it is the best estimate of the expected revenue from an average customer that is ltv okay so uh, see a customer who purchased a product today maybe uh, he is going to purchase your product uh, after a week then again then again so that is retention of the customer so the customer who uh, which you are enabled to retain that's they they churned and that is the churn rate is it's a it's a lengthy topic and i have already made an in depth video on the customer lifetime value ye topic i guess youtube pe already available hai you can search on our channel or i'll put the link in the description go through it okay very very important is pe already in depth video hai i guess 15 minute ki hi hai so just go through it and that would help you relevancy score and quality score on google's ad platform uh there is a relevancy score if the relevancy or the quality score is high uh your ad would be ranked higher theek hai so relevancy or the quality score are both both important uh, factors for the ad performance so three basic factors hain how your quality score is calculated on the basis of user experience relevance to keywords or expected ctr ctr i have told you if your expected ctr is high a 5% 6% high hai तो आपका क्वालिटी स्कोर ज़्यादा होगा आपके कीवर्ड्स रेलेवेंट हैं तो ज़्यादा होगा आपकी वेबसाइट फास्ट है यूज़र एक्सपीरियंस अच्छा है पढ़ने में रीडेबिलिटी अच्छी है योर क्वालिटी स्कोर वुड बी हायर रिटर्न रिटर्न ऑन एड स्पेंड सिंपल फार्मूला रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम एड्स लेट से यू मेड फाइव थाउजेंड रुपी बाई स्पेंडिंग ऑन एड्स एंड द एड कॉस्ट इज लेट से थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हंड्रेड सो uh that's that's a return on ad spend okay that's a return on ad spend uh, revenue from ads divided by ad cost sem search engine marketing so you are paying uh, to get you are uh, using the paid advertising to get ranked on google or bing is search engine marketing 
that uh, another one is organic organic traffic that's a very popular uh, keyword or marketing term you are making a useful content okay informative content your website is fast and fast and then you are getting traffic from google for free so that free traffic from google is organic traffic okay let's move forward target audience target audience is a group of people that the business aims to reach so what is the target audience of bank exam bank exams today ka target audience kya hai somebody whose age is between 25 to 35 years okay somebody who wants to work in a bank who's looking for a bank job somebody who's graduate somebody who is in india who lives in india right and who wants to live in india uh this is my target audience this is my target audience now if i want to uh, you know target everybody in india it's very difficult but this is my target audience okay target audience is a group of people that a business aims to reach with their product services or marketing efforts so it can be according to their gender age income interest challenges or goals so a lot of factors can be there so apne mind mein bitha sakte ho ye hota target audience what is bounce rate uh bounce rate somebody visiting your website and without taking any action he is leaving your website or landing page koi aapki site pe website pe aa raha hai app pe aa raha hai landing page pe aa raha hai aur bina cta ka button dabaye bina koi dusra page khole ya koi action liye he is leaving the page he bounced so number of one page visits visits divided by total entrance visits is bounce rate that's how we calculate the bounce rate okay so multiplied by 100 you will find out the bounce rate in percentage okay what is off page optimization and on page optimization so if you are making changes on your website you are making your website fast reliable informative okay that is on page optimization what is off page optimization you are not making any change on your website you are getting links from a local newspaper right you are doing some citation uh, local citation or you are getting some social bookmarking some blogger talked about you discussed you that is off page optimization that helps you to get more clicks on google from google you are getting more clicks that's off page and on page okay search engine optimization we discussed that search engine optimization you are improving the visibility of your website or the landing page on google or bing so that it can get free traffic organic traffic okay pay per click it's a type of social uh, you know search engine marketing uh, basically you are paying per click up per click ke paise de rahe ho so that you can be ranked higher up uh, on the on the website okay uh, uh higher up on the on the google so that you can uh, you can get the traffic from target customer aapki website pe aaye and they get converted and they ta- uh, they take actions that you want them to take okay so students that's i guess all for today I hope you like the today's session and this is part of IBBS SO marketing 2023 2024 course in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes uh, mock tests live sessions weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance the link is available in the description this is our whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and this is uh, the blog where you can read a lot of free content and that's my number you can ask your doubts a list of our successful students all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective ibps so marketing 2022 exam and these students they took our course in 2021 exam only 60 vacancies were there in 2021 and we got six selections all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye